where you can laugh along with jokes, boggle your mind with fun facts, and hear what's up with your favorite Disney characters. Let's see what we have today. You want to hear what's up with the DuckTales crew? <coughs> Terrific. Here we are, floating dead center in Loch Ness. And Tip Bonnie. It stinks. I dream my lad, it is a bit manky, but we're not here for the ambience. We're here to find the legendary Loch Ness monster. Loch what now? For decades, there have been sightings of a large marine monster in the lake. Many witnesses think it's probably just a hippopotamus that got lost. But some people believe it's a surviving dinosaur, or even an alien life form from another world. And most other people do not. So, what's the plan? Are we looking to be disappointed or eaten? Neither, I hope. If we can get clear video footage of the elusive beast, then we'll have solved one of Scotland's greatest mysteries. And we could sell that video for big bucks. Pics of Mothman on vacation would also be a hot commodity. Aye, Webby. Okay. Flip on the sonar and let's find Nessie. <laughs> The sonar is detecting a large object deep below us! Probably just a big lake trout, or a submerged log. The visibility in Loch Ness is notoriously poor. Ah, uh, it seems to be surfacing rapidly! Don't worry, my phone's already recording. We should probably have the t-shirts ready to sell before this goes viral. She's right next to the boat, and she's huge! Wait a minute! It's not Nessie, just some kind of huge monster-shaped submarine! Oh, man. Told you it wasn't a monster. Always bet on the rational explanation. Ah, Flint heart glob gold. Aye, and I always will be. <laughs> Thanks for listening. If you want to hear more, you can ask Disney Dailies for more jokes, facts, or what's up. Welcome back to Disney Plot Twist, where you can help your favorite Disney characters swap out the words in their stories and fill a tame tale with silly surprises. We are now featuring DuckTales Plot Twists. Let's get started. Here we go. Yikes, what's that sound? Alert. Alert. Mainframe incursion in process. <gasps> Looks like someone is trying to hack the McDuck mainframe. Oh, are they? <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Computer, uh, 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 do the thing. The, 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 the thing Gyro showed me. Running program. Hackback one. What's that do, Uncle Scrooge? It's just a little something I had Gyro whip up. Gives the hacker access to a bogus decoy version of our computer system, and meanwhile, I get complete access into theirs. Tracing incursion source. Source located. Source identified as Clonesoft Technology Partners, Inc. Oh, Flinty, you just couldn't resist. Look, Uncle Scrooge, Glamgold's mainframe has a manuscript stored on it. The full Scotty, the unabridged autobiography of Flint Hart Glamgold. So he's written a memoir, has he? Yeah. Yes, he was a rescued the Queen of Dimondia. Invented toast? Ah, absolute piffle. Well, I suppose he wouldn't mind if we threw in a few wee changes before the manuscript goes to print. <laughs> I'm way ahead of you, Uncle Scrooge. Please select one from this bespoke collection of nonsense. Blustering Butterball, Sleeping Sea Urchin, Dumpster Walrus. My turn. Pick one of these. Haggis flavored ice cream. Unwelcome odors. House cat sweaters. That will certainly make for a book you can't put down. I may even buy a copy. At full price. Good evening, Duckberg, and welcome back to another episode of Ravishing Reads. I'm your host, Brunhilda Bookbinder, and today I'm sitting down with industrialist Flintheart Glomgold, who has written his life story. Flintheart, what has led you to set these experiences down on the page? Scrooge McDuck has no less than five books written about him, and I thought... I have a responsibility to the world to do more than him. 
It was very easy, Brunhilda. Uh, yes, and I understand you're going to read us an excerpt tonight. I am, and you're welcome. Ahem. <clears throat> there I was, caught between a call to appear as Vague Magazine's most eligible bachelor and an invitation to a dinner in my honor at the Canal de Center. It was an impossible dilemma, but I summoned my courage and said, What the heck? I'll do them both! Touched at my sacrifice, a panel of PhD supermodels cried out in unison, Flinter Glumgold has all the charm of a dumpster walrus! <laughs> a dumpster what? Well, a dumpster walrus would have to be much more charming than a regular walrus to compensate for the stinky garbage. With your help, I can finally have more haggis-flavored ice cream than Scrooge McDuck. Haggis-flavored ice cream? Oh, gross! I can't bear the thought of doing that to poor, poor, delicious ice cream. Oh, there you have it, folks. A desperate plea from a desperate man. Send your haggis-flavored ice cream at once. Ew. Thanks for listening. If you want to hear more, just ask Disney Plot Twist for more. Dumpster Walrus. My turn. Pick one of these. Haggis flavored ice cream. Unwelcome odors. House cat sweater. Haggis flavored ice cream. That will certainly make for a book you can't put down. I may even buy a copy. At full price.